what is going on lunatics today we're going to dig around the terra luna classic ecosystem and report on the news everything that's happening we're going to look at price action and we're going to make some predictions if you like this type of content make sure you hit the like button subscribe button bell to be notified of future content and don't forget to check out terra casino like i can't sing but if I could, just imagine I'm singing and it sounds like, let's go with Michael Jackson. Um, so beat it, guys. Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon Matic, um, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin. If you have any of those and you're looking for a little bit of risk-based gaming, whether it be slots, poker, uh, casino-based games, sports wagering, whatever it is, Terra Casino is the place. Not only is it the place... It is also one of the top burners in all of Luna Classic. Check it out right here at number seven. It's burning more than all nodes. If you just stop and consider it for a second, who supports you more than all nodes? Terra Casino, clearly. Uh, there's a lot going on in the background. Also, not to forget Terra Port Finance down here in the top 12 now. Remember, it was number 14 not that long ago. So uh, these are the guys that are doing the work right now to help you burn more tokens. So make sure that you check out Terra Casino and Terraport Finance today. And in fact, let's go ahead and talk about the newest token that's launching on the launch pad. It's called Rocket. We're going to get into uh, the Terra Luna Classic discussion in just a moment, but I've already claimed a couple of uh, the daily login and the share on Twitter. Now, it said here that I don't have tokens because I didn't have Terra tokens. What I did is I went over here and I bought, so I have 1,700 right now. Remember I told you I sold everything and moved it all into Luna Classic. Well, then the other day I put it into Rackoff and now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe I should have more, I, I, I need to get back into Terra and hold that one. Because if you remember, I also have a bunch of base tokens uh, that are, I guess, being held staked, whatever. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm holding on to that. So tomorrow, I'm going to be able to claim some points that have been earned, and we can check out Rocket. Now, what is Rocket, you might be asking? Well, Rocket is um, Tower Defense King. And what's my favorite games ever? Tower Defense games. Um, in, in fact, if you if you knew me, you would know I'm a, I'm a, a psycho for a game called Field Runners. Uh, and then Defense Grid, uh, major fan of tower defense games. Uh, Clash of Clans, all of those types of games, even though they're not specifically tower defense, close to it. Uh, love those type of games too. Now, on June 26, it says how to maximize your rocket airdrop. Make sure you're eligible by holding at least 1,500 Terra on average. Climb the leaderboards and get points. Delegate Lunk to Terraport Validator. Swap any tokens on Terraport. Provide liquidity to pools uh, daily. Launchpad task, log into Terraport daily, swap at least $50 of any token on Terraport, share Launchpad post on X. So all you have to do is trade on Terraport, all you have to do is earn some yield on Rocket, and then you're going to get Rocket tokens. So uh, I would certainly go check this out. Now, of course, we, what we want to see is we want to see that game, like what does the game look like, stuff like that. So we'll get some uh, some updates on that very, very soon. The important thing is there is a tower defense game coming in the Terraport, uh, Terra Luna Classic ecosystem. So, um, in-game economy, earning tokens, players earn rocket tokens by completing levels, participating in special events, achieving high scores. Uh, is it worth, look, are you gonna get rich off of it? Probably not, but it's gonna be a fun game where you can earn some uh, tokens and perhaps burn some, I don't know. We'll get more information. As we get more information, we'll bring it to you. But let's get back over to the news. So we got over 1 trillion tokens staked. That's a massive number, in fact, if we can get a big burn coming from some of these uh, tokens. Now, remember, there were $274 billion in one of the Terraform Labs wallets. Um, Happy Caddy Crypto didn't find it, but I know that I saw it in some of the details of the lawsuit, 274 billion tokens. So I think there's some really big burns. And according to um, Chris Amani, he said that there were some significant amounts that they were holding on to that were going to end up getting burnt. So um, there's, um, you know, certainly the possibility that we're going to see some, some, some big, big uh, supply shocks uh, in the next couple of months. So uh, this seems like a pretty big opportunity here. Now, um, uh, mass staking is happening. Mass burning is happening. And this is somebody who's just kind of out here 
Uh, and it's important to point it out, mass staking is happening, mass burning. Uh, it's happening behind the scenes. Tax to gas this week. Things are moving. Price will start moving uh, when more things come to light. And when we say more things come to light, remember there's stuff that is happening in the background that I can't talk about because, you know, I don't know. People are not telling me, hey, let's talk about that. You know what I mean? So pay attention to what's going on for Luna Classic over the next little while. Right now would be the time for you to conviction hodl stuff, especially in that ecosystem. So it doesn't matter whether you're holding Terraport, uh, Rackoff token, Breakoff, um, Hamster Meme, it, it doesn't matter. Lunk Pepe, uh, Rocket token, any one of these, hold them because something's getting ready to happen. Now, as far as Lunk trading goes, it should be noted that what we're looking at right now is this volume node, which is right here. And if you bring it out here, where are you trading? You're trading right in that volume node. Well, what's the next volume node? Well, there's a little one right here at 72. So that'll be a breakthrough area. But the majority of the trading volume is here at 75 and then up here at 8,000. So in the, the, the shorter time frames here, what I think we're going to end up seeing is we're going to see a, a pretty big move into these ranges. And then when I zoom out just a little bit and give you guys kind of an idea of what it looks like and we look at volume in this context and you can see right here trading at three zeros ten is about the range where uh, we're going to get i think a big impulsive sort of move that seems to be where the market um, is comfortable uh, other than this area right here around this eight sort of zone now that's on the shorter time frames so when you look at the larger time frames uh, now we, what we don't want to do is we don't want to have uh, some of the lower or bottom sort of areas uh, polluting the map for a long period of time what we want to do is kind of zoom out here and we see that our volume node is around four zeros 95 so the, that's the biggest area so i would expect that we're going to have a pretty aggressive move coming up very very soon to take us back into some of these ranges now uh this is where this is where we're comfortable so like a magnet that's going to be where we're attracted to remember that Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than Cryptonomy.finance? Remember, Cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm going to max that out. I'm going to stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's going to give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back over here to the launch pool. I'm going to throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm going to be in the bronze level. I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Also, no governance proposals up on station. Uh, volume significantly down, significantly down all over. There are some pieces in the, the crypto market that are not way, way down. But generally speaking, you know, a lot of these older projects, and we are an older project at this point, uh, going through a revival. So a lot of these kind of projects are just significantly down right now. But uh, you can see over here that, you know, this is starting to get very, very interesting. Circulating supply starting to change on USTC, starting to come down just a little bit. Uh, same thing over here on the overall for Luna Classic. You can see that, you know, it's 5.4 trillion circulating supply out of six. There's about 6.3 or 1.3 trillion that have been removed from the circulating supply. Uh, now, what are we going to do about total supply? You know, if we can start to get some burns off of the total supply, then that's going to kick this diluted market cap up here into this sort of range here. Moving the total, moving the burns from circulating supply to total supply, that really doesn't do anything, by the way, just in case anybody was unclear other than uh, change the market cap structure. So what we need to see is actual burns coming off of the chain, which is the always the goal. So... Uh, if that were to take place, and if that takes place, then you know we're going to start to see some in incredible sort of results. Um, 
uh, as far as burns go. Uh, we did look at this, but um, there, there's not a lot of burns going on over the last couple of days. So down to 432 million. So you know the significant burns beginning of the month. Now we're getting towards the middle of the month, but we're seeing a little bit of a decline in it. So. Um, but that's it. That's your update for the day. Uh, make sure that if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Check out Rocket. Go to Terraport.finance. Start to engage with these things. If you do, then you're just going to hodl and you're going to have a bunch of little bitty amounts. And then one day, you're going to wake up and one of these is going to 100x or 200x or 300x. You have a few bucks in it and then it'll explode. And I mean, that's the way that it works, right? So uh, go check out Terraport.finance today. Go check out Terra Casino today. Go find out what you've been missing. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.